Welcome to my mini course on Barnacle SEO. If you want to learn a really easy but highly effective SEO strategy to help dominate the local search results, then this mini course is for you. In this course, we're going to learn what Barnacle SEO is, how it's used, how to optimize it, and how to dominate the local search results beyond just your website and Google My Business listing. It's really simple to do, but the great thing is almost no other local businesses are doing this. It's a great strategy to deploy and it's really easy to do. It doesn't take a lot of work and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So let's get started. So what is Barnacle SEO? Well, to answer that question, let's first define what a barnacle is. A barnacle is a marine creature, a parasitic marine creature that attaches itself to a larger host. But unlike most parasitic creatures, in most cases it's not harmful to the larger host. Actually, most, most of the times, larger sea creatures don't even realize there's barnacles living on it because it doesn't interfere with the way they live and feed. Barnacle SEO is a search engine optimization strategy where you, as your business, attach yourself to other larger third party websites. And some of these websites would be review sites where your business is listed. It could be directories where you have a page or you have a listing on a directory. It could be blog posts or other kind of websites where people are talking about your business. So Barnacle SEO is instead of doing search engine optimization on your website or your Google My Business listing, it's doing search engine optimization on third party websites that you don't own or control. So the question is, why would you want to do that? So we're going to answer that in the next video. So now that we know what Barnacle SEO is, why would we want to spend our time, money and resources optimizing somebody else's website? Well, there's a couple of really good reasons why you should consider it. And the first one is, these sites may be outranking your website for some very important search terms. It's no secret that Google tends to favor larger brands, larger websites with lots of links, high domain authority. It's relatively easy for these sites to outrank, you know, local businesses, you know, local web properties that don't have the resources to optimize their site like they can. So instead of trying to fight them, why not, you know, find out which ones are ranking really well find your listing on that site and then work on doing SEO for that listing. So if somebody searches for that important search term, you may not be able to get your website ranked, but you may be able to get your listing on this larger directory site or review site to show up at the top of the search engine results instead. Also, these sites may be more, may be very important for your business. Maybe you have some uh, critical review sites where you have some really good reviews and you want to highlight them. So optimizing your listing on these review sites may help that listing page get shown in uh, Google search results, you know, higher and more frequently. So if somebody's searching for, you know, uh, the best lawn care service in my city or the best real estate agents in my city, you have a chance of getting that review listing showing up high in the search results, even if your website can't do it. And number three, you may want to dominate the search results beyond your website and Google My Business listing. Now, a typical Google search engine result is going to have 10 organic listings, uh, anywhere from three to maybe five Google My Business listings, and somewhere between two and five different you know, advertising ads on the page. So there's a lot of links on that page. And even if you're doing really good SEO, that still only gives you two properties, your website and your Google My Business listing. But what if you really want to dominate those search results? When somebody searches for, you know, uh, plumbers, you know, in my city or, you know, financial planners in my city, you know, wouldn't it be great if you had four or five or six listings showing up on the first page of Google? And that is a very great strategy to use with Barnacle SEO. So it's optimizing sites and pages where you have a presence that you don't own and trying to get those in the search results. As a bonus to this, if you really want to dominate 
the search results. Consider doing Google AdWords. You can get an additional listing that's relatively easy. You are gonna pay for it, but it gives you that extra, that third listing in the search results. And if you wanna go even further, Think about doing YouTube videos related to that search term topic. Even optimizing images for that topic can give you additional inclusions into that first page of the Google search results. Okay, so these are some reasons why you would do it. In the next video, we're going to talk about things you can do to help optimize these listings. So what can we do to help optimize these third party pages so they can rank higher in the search engine results and get us more visibility for our business. Well, the first thing is, if it's a review site or if it's a directory listing, you wanna make sure that you've claimed that listing, you have login access, so you can go in and you can update that information. You wanna make sure that the information is complete, it's fully updated, all the information they asked for, you gave it to them, you've uploaded pictures, video, whatever it is that you fully completed that profile, that's a starter. If it's something that where you can go in periodically and update it as well with new video, new pictures, uh, even reviews, things like that, that's even better. Because the way Google works is when they crawl a web page, if nothing changes and you know, and they go check it four or five times, what's gonna happen is they're gonna start to crawl that page less frequently because nothing's changing on it. But if they go to that page and you've added new pictures, you added new video, you've updated the information, things like that, then Google understands that that page is being updated so they should come back more frequently to see what's going on and that's what you want to accomplish with this. So make sure you get access to these listings, these directory listings, and that you update the information, make sure it's full, make sure it's complete, and periodically add more and updated information. Number two, you can link to these listing pages or these third-party pages from your website and also from your Google My Business listing, okay? So if you have a, a third-party site where you have positive reviews there, link to them from your website. You're giving, you know, you're giving your authority back to that web page, you know, where you have a listing and that's gonna help boost that listing higher up in the search engine results because now it has links pointing back to it. Another situation where you would wanna promote a web page is a local magazine, a local blog, maybe did some sort of list where they named you know, the five best real estate agents in my city, five best restaurants in my city, whatever it is for your industry. That may be something you wanna highlight. If you're at the top of that list, that's a great time to link to it from your website. You can do a post in Google My Business. They have the post feature. You can do a blurb about it, how you've been mentioned in this online magazine, and you can link to that listing. And all of these links going back to that web page is going to get send clear signals to Google that this page, you know, is important. It has links going to it, and they should consider, you know, moving it up higher in the search engine results. Number three, get more reviews. So if it's a review site like Homestars, Yelp, uh, even Yellow Pages, if you can start getting more reviews on a regular basis for that listing, that's also gonna help. It's not only gonna help Google look at that listing and look at the reviews and help show it in the search engine results, but a lot of times, if you start getting a lot of reviews, a lot of positive reviews inside that directory listing or review site listing, you're gonna be able to push your listing up higher in their search results as well okay so these are some easy ways that you can you know without going crazy with your seo these are some easy and free ways that you can help to optimize those third-party web pages what you want to do is you want to find sites that rank for two things you want to find sites that rank for important search terms for your business so if you're say you know, a financial planner and somebody types in financial planners near me or financial planners in Charlotte or financial planners in Denver, whatever the case may be, if you find the top of the search results are, you know, uh, you're getting, you know, Yelp listings and you're getting other larger directory listings that are starting to pop up on there, that's where you want to go to those sites and you want to, you know, find where your listing is and you really want to start to optimize it because clearly Google's giving a preference for that larger website. So if you can optimize your page on that site, that can help you get more visibility. 
The other thing is for search terms for your business. So if somebody searches for your business, they're looking for you online, what shows up in addition to your website and your Google My Business listing? And you wanna review those things. So what we're gonna do in the next video, we're gonna jump in and we're gonna take a look at how we can find all this information so you know exactly what third-party web, web pages are important for your business so you can go in and start to optimize them. So let's take a look at the Google search results so I can give you a visual of what we're talking about when it comes to Barnacle SEO. Now, for most markets and for most industries, when you do a local search like contractors in Denver, in this example, when you scroll down, you can see you have your Google My Business listings with the map results. But once you get down to the actual organic search results, they're totally dominated by the big websites. You have Yelp, Yelp, Home Advisor, Home Advisor, Angie's List, BizJournal, and Thumbtack. So, you know, there's not a single contractor website on the first page of Google when somebody's typing in contractors in Denver. So it's very, very dominated the local search results with these big websites. If we look at another example, mortgage brokers in Miami, same thing. You have your Google My Business search results, the local map pack here. But once you get down to your organic listings, Yelp, Yelp, Expertise, Angie's List, Zillow, you don't have your first actual mortgage broker until the middle of page one. And this happens for most searches in majors, you know, in bigger markets. Uh, and for most major industries, you're gonna have your Yelps and your Angie's List and your trip advisors are gonna tend to dominate the local search results. So instead of trying to competing with, you know, against them, Try using that to your advantage and optimize your listing inside these bigger directories and review sites. And also, this just highlights the importance of having a of really spending time and working on your Google My Business listing because you can see here, you don't have your Yelps or TripAdvisors able to compete inside the Google My Business listing. So it actually allows local businesses to compete on the first page of Google. So very important, optimize your Google My Business listing. But let's take a look. We're gonna do a search here for day spas in Charlotte, okay? So we have our first couple map, Google My Business map listings here. And then same thing, once we get down into the local search results, Yelp dominates again. Yelp tends to really dominate most local searches. Uh, then we have our first spa down here, but it's kind of peppered with some articles. Uh, you know, people writing articles about day spas they love, spa, you know, best spas in Charlotte, things like that. We have another business here, Nature Spa, another article, and TripAdvisor, another day spa, another day spa, and then Groupon. So it's about two thirds big sites, uh, directories, review sites, media sites, and then a handful of actual businesses in here. So if you're a day spa and you're in Charlotte and you're trying to compete here and you can't get on this first page of Google, instead of really fighting, why not try to, you know, optimize your listing inside Yelp instead? You know, here we have a couple advertisements from Yelp, but here we get to our actual organic search results. And here we have, you know, uh, Toe Care, we have Nature Spa, and you can see here the listing this might be the easier way for you to get to the top of the google search results is by optimizing your listing inside yelp and trying to get on this first page ideally in the top in the top three to five listings on here and that might be an easier path for you to get to you know to get to the top of google instead of trying to fight all of these you know all of these other websites uh same thing if we come down here to TripAdvisor. You know, maybe your, you know, if your spa is not listed on here, then that might be a good opportunity for you. Because you can even see here, there's not many reviews, you know, besides the spa Ballantine. Once you even get to number two, number three, number four, there's only a handful of reviews. So TripAdvisor might be a great opportunity for you to really work on optimizing your, li your listing, uh, getting more reviews, making sure it's filled out completely, and trying to push that at the top. So at the very least, if somebody looks for the best spas on TripAdvisor, they're going to find your business on there, okay? So let's go back, and you can see here, there's a couple articles as well, and these are other great opportunities for Barnacle SEO. So, 
If you're lucky enough to get listed in one of these blogs or one of these local media sites that are listing the best spas in Charlotte, then that's a great opportunity for you to help promote and help get better rankings for this article by linking to it from your website, sharing it on social media, help this page get more traction because when people get to this page, number one, it's a third party it's a third party that is giving you that endorsement. So it works better than actually having it on your own site. And, you know, since you're listed, you know, on this on this page for the best day spas in Charlotte, you're going to get traffic. People tend to trust these third party articles. So another opportunity for you to do local SEO. Uh, and you see here there are a couple organic ones. You have the bots Ballantine, Spa at Ballantine, which tends to be the dominant one in Charlotte. Uh, Nature Spa is also a good one on here. Uh, but let's take a look at an example of a specific business. So let's pull out Nature Spa in Charlotte. They're, they're a day spa. And if you do a search, you can see they got the website. You have your Google My Business listing here. And then you have your Yelp listing, you have your Facebook listing, TripAdvisor, Groupon, BirdEye, Joy Spa, so tons of different review sites. And you can see here, they tend to have pretty good reviews. One thing you might have noticed, we're gonna jump back to that page in a second. This is their TripAdvisor page on here. You see, they only have three reviews here. They're three five-star reviews, so that's fantastic. But if we go back to the Day Spa search, and we have TripAdvisor on page one here. And if we scroll down, Nature Spa isn't until you get to number eight. They're, they're number eight on this list. So if I was Nature Spa, what I would be doing is really working on my TripAdvisor listing to try to push myself up, especially if I see there's not a lot of competition here. There's only a handful of reviews for each of these. So you know, a three month, three to six month timeline, I should be able to get 15, 20 reviews on here and push my listing right to the top, maybe just underneath the spot Valentine. But since I can get five star reviews, they only have four star reviews, I might get better conversions out of it. So that's an example of how you can optimize, you know, third party sites to your to your advantage. Okay, so if we're looking at this specific spa, here, Nature Spa, you can see there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of uh, review sites on here. Uh, what you want to do is take a look. Are there any other opportunities on here? Uh, and you can see right here, Judy's Book. Judy's Book, they have 127 uh, votes, 4.9 rating, almost perfect. And if we click on that, you can see here, Nature Spa never claimed this listing. So this information has probably been pulled from third party website it's probably inaccurate uh, but since they have so many great ratings and so many great reviews on here if i was if this was my business i would definitely claim this listing i would optimize it and i would start linking to it and help push this one up in the search results as well so if anyone is searching for my business you know searching or searching for this business they're going to find an entire search result full of positive reviews so the essentials of it is to make sure that you're you're trying to dominate the search results whether it's for a, gen, a generic term like day spas in charlotte or if, if it's a brand search like your business what you want to do is you want to dominate that first page of the results with things that are positive for your business and the more you know the more links you can get onto that first page of google whether it's your one of your properties or a third party property the more of a chance somebody is going to end up contacting you versus a competitor, okay? Uh, a quick note with this is when we're talking about these review sites, we're talking about like Yelp here, for most major cities, what's going to happen is you're gonna have a hard time to actually get your individual listing to show up on page one for the search results because Yelp and TripAdvisor do a lot of SEO for their own pages. So it's unlikely your individual listings are going to be able to outrank them. But if you're in a smaller market, there are lots of opportunities to do this. So let's take a look at personal organizer in Greensboro, North Carolina. And you come down here, same thing, Thumbtack, Thumbtack, Home Advisor, they're dominating 
they're dominating the search results. Uh, but you can see here, we have a business here organized with Jess. They have their website on the first page of Google, which is great. And they also have their Facebook listing on there. So for this less competitive market, maybe a little bit of a less competitive industry you're in, you can easily optimize a lot of your listings. So not only your website, but your Facebook listing, your LinkedIn listing, uh, your Yelp listing, your yellow page listing. You can you can literally pepper this entire search result for if somebody searching for personal organizers in Greensboro, North Carolina. You can literally pepper this first page of results with a whole bunch of your properties with a little bit of work. So you really want to take a look and analyze which properties are going to be worth your time doing in this case with nature spa uh, yelp they're ready they're already ranking pretty good with yelp uh, i would work on my facebook listing here i would definitely work on my TripAdvisor because that's uh, TripAdvisor ranks on the first page for day spas in charlotte and with a little bit of work you can easily be at the top of that you know trip advisor list for the best spas in Charlotte. So you really want to take at the take a look at the search results for, you know, general terms that are important to your business. So if you're a plumber, it would be plumbers in Charlotte or dentists in Charlotte. And you also want to look at your brand searches and you want to see what sites are showing up here and which ones aren't. So take a look at page two, take a look at page three. Do you have any good properties, any good articles about your business that are really good that aren't getting the visibility that they should be getting? And you can use your website, you can use your Google My Business listing, link to these articles, promote them on your site, and that'll help give these third party articles some new life. OK, the last thing I want to show you is dominating the search results in general. So when it comes to local SEO, really the the holy grail of local SEO is on the first page of Google is to basically dominate the entire first page of Google. OK, and I'm going to give you an example of a business that's doing a really good job with this. Uh, so if you type in physiotherapy in Newmarket, that's a suburb of Toronto up in Canada, you'll see here we have an ad from Spectrum Physiotherapy. So they're number two right here with an ad. They're number one with their Google My Business listing. OK, we have the first page of Yelp results. You know, the very first listing ranking number one is Yelp right here. They are ranked number two and probably with a teeny bit of work, they can rank number one because the company, the physiotherapy clinic ranking number one only has two reviews. So with a little bit of work, you can probably be number one in that, too. And if you come down here, they're ranking organically in the search results. And if we scroll down a little bit more, they actually have their Facebook page ranking on the first page of Google as well. If you type in physiotherapy in new market. So that's one. We got one. We got two. We got three. We got four. We got five. So if spectrum physiotherapy is showing at the top for five different URLs, five different places where people can find them on the first page of Google for their main for their main search term, which is physiotherapy in new market. So if you're only working on your own properties, you're only going to have your Google My Business listing and your website to rank. But if you add in some advertising, even if you do some limited advertising and you're only focusing on, you know, a handful of popular search terms, and you're also working on some of your third party properties like your Facebook page, your LinkedIn profile, your LinkedIn company page, uh, other third party directories, Yelp listings, things like that. If you really work on these, there's a good chance you're going to be able to get these ranking on the first page for a lot of different search terms. And that's where you're really going to see a lot of conversions, a lot of click throughs when it comes to local SEO. So that wraps up our visual tutorial here on Barnacle SEO. But what you need to do next is make a list of your popular search terms that people look for for your business and start going through the search results. See what big websites continually show up. So in this case, it's Yelp, uh, it's TripAdvisor. Start writing those down and then look inside those listings and see how you rank inside those listings. 
And if you need to add more reviews, you need to optimize your listing, you need to update it more frequently, figure out what you need to do. And then what you want to do is link to these third party listings, these third party websites from your own website to give them even more links, more credibility and help to push these listings up even more. So now you know what Barnacle SEO is, how it works, how to optimize these third party listings and how to find exactly what listings you should be optimizing that are important for your business. So your job now is to go out, start identifying these third party web pages and start to optimize them. If you can do that, then you can really start to dominate the local search results.